sorry. I have an unboxing. It looks like Amazon is up to their old tricks. I got this big box for a little package. So here we go. Let's stick into it. I've got these lovely air bags. <laughs> oh, they go on forever and ever. Okay. And I've got a couple of items here. I've got this and a diamond painting. Um, I will get this out of the way. And have a look at the stuff inside. I ordered these from Amazon this week. Um, a couple days ago. Uh, true to Amazon shipping. They they got here when they said they would. And what I got here are some bags for storing my cross stitch pattern there. Um, a project as I'm working on them. And I'm disappointed. I can tell already they're not what I thought I ordered. I thought I ordered the mesh. They look like mesh bags, but they're totally plastic. And that is not what this is. So, there are one, two. These are like the the ones I got at Hobby Lobby, and I'm not I'm not as happy with these as I am the other ones that look like a mess. There's five bags in here, and they're different colors. They have a zip on them, and I'm gonna have to go back and look at my order to see, you know, if they're pleated at the bottom. This was a better deal than I had at Hobby Lobby. Um, I believe they were, let's hold on a minute and I'll see what I can find out about it. Okay, I'm back. What I found out was it said plastic zipper cam, uh, uh, pro holder, plastic folder. And so, I got what I ordered, <laughs> so the fault was mine that I didn't investigate it further. So, but these five were for $10.99. It's okay, I will still use them because I have a lot of projects that need folders. So, you know, I will still use these. Um, but the, the bag I was looking for is like this. And you can get these for less than $2 on AliExpress. I just wanted them in a hurry. So this, in a way, this is good because I got this in a hurry and I can still order these big ones there. And, and this is how they work. I, I mean, I have, I have all my sewing stuff in here. I'm working on this project right here. It's called Summer Cottage. And it's coming along. I'd say I'm about half done with it because I filled stuff in down here even though there's stuff missing up here. I filled in stuff down here. So I'm probably a little over halfway done. And uh, there's been pretty intense stitching on this and um, so it's taking a while. Um, I can't even remember when I, I think I've been working on it on a couple months now, if not maybe a month. Here's the back. I don't really want to show the back, but you're able to see more what I have done. So anyway, anyway, that's off the track of my Amazon order. <laughs> so uh, that's my summer cottage. <clears throat> so I, I'm, I'm going to be happy for to have these. They will be coming useful. They work exactly what I wanted, but they will do the job. So they were $10.99. They got here in a couple days. We will be content with what we have. Um, the other thing I got was some gnomes. Um, I will link 
the I'll put the links below for these product uh, products, uh, so you can follow them and go get them. Um, I don't. I'm sorry, I did not pay attention to what the price was on this. Um, but I'll put it in the information below. It was less than ten dollars, so. Um, I try not to spend money, but you know how that goes. Okay, this one came folded. We'll just get to the crux of it. It's Christmas gnomes. I thought that was so cute. They've got some birds up here and all in the snow. We're in their winter winter clothes. Um, so let's check the canvas. It is sticky. There are 21 colors in this canvas. Um, they use numbers and alphabet for their symbols on here. The symbols are clear. Uh, they use one through eight and one is one and two is two. So that's great. That's awesome. Um, and then the rest are alphabet. <laughs> that comes with the standard toolkit. It has a double, double square of wax. And here are the colors. You can see there's a lot of white. Oh, I haven't ever seen um, a, peel, a pack. They're joined together. I've never seen them. I didn't like that before. <clears throat> but in fact, I'll just go ahead and cut them in half real quick. I don't know if there's any benefit to that. Except that that's what I'm used to. <laughs> so, here are the colors. There are a lot of white and red. And it looks like the background has a lot of uh, dusty purple color in it. There's a bit of green. And oh, they are so sparkly. Very sparkly. This is from the... The label says day tail. Here, I'll bring it up here so y'all can see. You can also see the drill field and the legend. And I'm I'm happy with this. It's 3540 brown drill. The number on it is D D D019. So that's my diamond painting. And I'm very happy with that. It's so cute. And it'll be a couple days to do when I get around to it. I'm still working that project for Daniel. And, and then I've got these little bags for all my little cross-stitch uh, projects. And, you know, we can even put some diamond painting stuff in there, too. Uh, if you, you do have some small projects to take with you on the go. So, I want to thank you for joining me in the diamond painting effect. Um, I would like if you would leave a comment below and tell me how you would feel about me doing Stitch With Me's on this channel. Or if you think I should have a, a new channel. Um, my Stitch With Me's will be kind of turn into kind of like a blog of my life and things that are going on in my life and stuff like that. I would like to tell you guys, my prayer warriors out there that were pay, praying for the Born Traeger Amish family friends of mine, uh, they are my neighbors. CPS came and took their children because of a rope accident, uh, not a, uh, a horse accident. A horse broke loose. The child wasn't on the horse, in the horse, you know, they wasn't being pulled or anything. But as the horse went by, the a rope or something went and hit him across the neck. And um, they're now trying to take the children away. 
because they say they was a lack of supervision. The father was actually there with the child when the accident happened. I don't know what he could have done any different, ex you know, except have the child in a glass box on a shelf in the house. Um, you know, it's ridiculous to think that no accidents happen on a farm and I'm really happy with the court case, how it went yesterday. Um, that I, it was obvious that the judge felt like the CPS was being a little over the top there and has ordered the children back into the family with, uh, until they close the investigation and then they'll go back to court again at that time and discuss what's going to happen with the children. So please pray for them. I feel like they're picking on them just because they're Amish and they don't agree with their way of life. But I believe Amish people believe they have their rights to believe as they believe and the children are not being harmed. And CPS needs to get the heck out of their lives. So that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.